everyone well I was gonna go out and uh, shoot this Winchester today and I went into town this morning I had to go to the chiropractor picked up a box of shells and uh, wasn't too bad down in the valley but up here it's just it's been raining steady since 10 o'clock so uh, I thought I would do a review of this uh, 1967 Winchester uh, Canadian Centennial um, there's a few things here there's none none of it's gonna uh, affect the uh, mechanical operation of this gun but it is kind of you know it's supposed to be a commemorative so you would think that a collectible so it would just be nothing but the the you know top-notch quality the finest craftsmanship um, I will say the uh, as far as fit and finish on all the uh, metal parts is excellent um, really really good um, the bluing real good like the day it came out so uh, the one th one thing I don't like, I think it's kind of cheesy and a cheap way out, is the powder coating on the uh, receiver and down here on the tip. Um, yeah, I, I don't care much for that. I would rather had it blued and let it wear, you know, because to me personally, this gun doesn't show the quality that something that I would pay between $1,300 and $1,500 for, which... I'm not even close to that. I paid for this gun. Um, the wood does look like a, a select walnut. Uh, it does have some figuring in it. Now, I don't know if that's part of the finish and maybe a, a, some kind of a stain job. The uh, shellac or lacquer, whatever they put on this, is real cheap. And you can see it coming here, coming off here, separating, raising. Um, it's not very strong. It's got, you know, really dull spots in it um i think this is cheesy plastic butt plate come on winchester you should be ashamed of yourself right here you can see we got mm, a gap it's tight here on the bottom gap starts raising there you can see right here back the receiver you can see gap you can see the shellac coming off again down here we got gap and the gap is the same on each side of the you know little not quite as much as back here at the rear on the tang um, this side over here though whoops sorry about that she slipped yeah so you can see what I'm talking about on this uh, finish they put on it um, we got pretty good finish here it starts raising down here and then we have a big gap here like I said the nose piece it's um, it's not fit very good it's stepped all the way around here Again, powder coated. I don't like that. Um, you can see here this. It hasn't damaged any of the wood, but and you can really see where they missed it with the stain. That's why I'm thinking that all this figuring is probably fake. It's probably imitation. When I sand it down, it'll just be a good looking walnut stock, but I guarantee it probably will not have any figuring in it at all. Uh, it does have some nice looking grain. So uh, anyway, all in all, I don't regret the buy because I'm going to shoot this gun. It's, it's not going to be hanging on a wall or sitting in the box in the closet. It's going to be uh, you know, on the rack on my quad or in the back of my uh, pickup window. Like I said, the machining is outstanding. But the uh, fit and finish to the stock, the furniture, not so good. All right, uh, you guys have a good day, and hopefully the uh, rain will stop, and I'll be making a video on how this thing shoots. All right, have a good day.